Hey Libra, this is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I'm coming to you with your general love tarot reading for mid-October 2020. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. Love messages for my Libras out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, so it won't resonate with every Libra out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, if this hits home, please go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate your love and support. If you're interested in a personal love reading, I have a Halloween special, $31 to October 31st. All right, and also, Vimeo on Patreon for your extended bonus readings, Libra. We're going to really look at the energy of your person, what's on their mind, okay? How they view you, what's in their feelings and emotions, and how they would like to move forward with you, okay? So let's get into your reading. All right, I'm going to start off with some Oracle cards, okay? Open things up, and we're going to see what's popping, all right? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to switch the roles if it makes more sense. It just won't resonate with every Libra. Know that. Don't force it to fit. But if it does fit, please do let me know. Let me know. All right, Libra, what's going on? Libra and their person for October 2020. What does Libra need to know right now? What's going on with Libra and their person? It could be someone that you're thinking of, connected with energetically. Okay, you don't have to be with them at this very moment in time. Most of my readings are for those in separation. Um, but take it how it resonates, okay? Ooh, okay. We got the Phoenix, um, new phase, rekindling. Ooh, there's some kind of renewal with you and the person that you're thinking about. There's transformation, growth. Someone has changed their mind, it looks like. Changed mind. Someone has changed their mind about you, okay? You guys may be closing out a cycle with someone. There may be an opportunity to rekindle, okay? Reconnect. There's some kind of renewal that's taking place between you and your person, Libra, all right? So let's see. What's this about? Who is coming back in Libra's life? Ooh, we got love. This unconditional love, self-love oneness passion affection attraction there's someone who still has a lot of love for you libra there's someone who thinks about you and they want to see well is there something here that they can rekindle can they come back together is there a union in sight there's someone who still has a lot of affection desire for you passion it could be a water sign we got also um fire sign a lot of ooh, beautiful energy change transformation okay so there's some kind of action that may be taking place you may not be expecting this, Libra. You may be hearing from someone that you haven't talked to in a, in a while. Self-indulgence, okay? Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. So there's a person that's been doing some shadow work here. They've been going through the dark night of the soul. Maybe you guys are in separation. They didn't appreciate you, okay? They may have needed some time to heal. They could have been doing some self-indulgent behaviors, that nine of cups, drinking too much, eating too much. Um, loving other people too much, having too, other, too many other parties, okay? Whatever it is, self-indulgent. This person did too much of something, may have been toxic for the connection. You guys are in um, definitely in some kind of healing, separation, but there's a new phase coming with the Phoenix energy, okay? Someone still has love for you. All right, let's see. Let, if you resonate, we'll stick around, right, Libra? Let's see what's going on with Libra and this person. Libra and this person, Eight of Swords is trying to come out. Someone that you feel very tied and bound to or they feel stuck to you. They may be trying to let go of a situation. Maybe they were dealing with something that was self-indulgent, okay? Or something that you may consider to be, I don't know, taboo or something devil, toxic, okay, unhealthy. They may be trying to let go of a situation here, let go and do better, heal. Too many cards here. Let's get some clear messages here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know about this person who still loves them? This person is definitely doing some work here, though, okay? They, they may now see themselves as being as, as someone who needs work or someone who perhaps um, hasn't been doing right in, in the past, who needs some kind of healing. They're looking at themselves now. Ace of Swords. See, yeah, there's some kind of truth here. So you're dealing with someone who perhaps wasn't putting in the work and the effort in, okay, in the recent past, okay? They may have been going through something. They may have needed to put more effort into themselves, okay? The Eight of Pentacles in verse. I feel like some of you guys' this person got involved in something here that wasn't good for them, okay? And Eight of Pentacles in verse is telling me that your person wasn't doing the work. They were not either getting help for it, getting going to therapy um, sessions, 
or addressing their their bad behavior or their addictions okay the ace of swords is a lot there's truth coming okay there's some kind of clarity there may be communication coming with you and your person but i feel like ultimately you guys have saw this person as not bringing you the clarity or bringing you happiness to your life so you guys decided to stop and pull back from this person no longer work on this connection okay um let me see any more information yeah, the challenge is to see if you guys can move things forward now, okay? The Eight of Wands is signifying change. And again, we got the, the Phoenix, right? There's some kind of change, change of mind or change of direction in this connection. Eight of Wands also talks about movement, transformation. Let me put my cards back together. I'm, I'm a hot mess. What's the Three of Wands about? So in the recent past, you've been waiting for this person, Libra, to do the right thing. Um, Some of you guys, again, they put themselves in a situation okay oh they got involved with someone else third party or it could just be literally third party could be anything it could be literally the bad habits or dr a drug addictions or family you know friends whatever it is something he wasn't able to move forward in the past and you gave up on this person someone gave up someone didn't see a way moving forward okay or someone felt like they were wasting their time here this could be you libra but you've gotten a clarity all right or there's clarity coming because someone wants to communicate with you Okay, let's see. Yeah, the justice in reverse. Libra, you felt like this person did an injustice to you. This is your energy. The, this person mistreated you. Things were very unbalanced. Un, un, okay, there was a lack of equilibrium in the connection. A, a lack of equal give and take, okay? You're dealing with someone who just didn't treat you right. Some of you guys are some kind of financial codependent relationship, to, okay? You guys have to this person with the Eight of Pentacles, this person also could be going through some kind of financial insecurity or hardship that may be causing them to not really get to the situation. This is your energy, Libra. King of Swords. You guys are seeing the truth. Some of you guys had to cut this person out because you saw the truth, because you saw their ways, all right? Their self-indulgent ways. And that was what that's what will cause this person to do some shadow work because before they weren't doing the work. The Eight of Pentacles verse, they weren't putting the time and energy into themselves or the reconnection or doing better, improving themselves, all right? King of Swords, you guys cut someone out of your life for sure. The Queen of Pentacles, you get Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone may want to come back and recommit to you or have some kind of st stability, security. Some of you guys have a child with this person, the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you guys are married or they want marriage now is what I'm seeing coming into the moment. Yeah, this is someone who you you blocked or put out in a cold, okay? There's someone who's definitely feeling like they're missing you or feeling like their life is in shambles now, okay? Like they feel incomplete. They feel lost without you. They want to get out of the cold. They're feeling stuck. They don't know how to communicate to you. They're, they're feeling like they have something to say, but they don't know how to come toward you. All right? See, so look, temperance. Someone wants to... This is someone you've been incredibly patient, okay? You've been you've been waiting for this person, waiting for your ships to come in until it just never came in, right? And the Ace of Swords, you saw that that wasn't happening, and you guys cut this out. This person out completely. However, someone now wants to come back and they're wanting to now, they want you to give them a chance, okay? They're wanting to now do things in moderation. So if this person has self-indulgent behaviors, drinking too much, partying too much, too much sex, whatever it is, any crazy addictions, this person now wants to do things in moderation. They're willing to control themselves, make a sacrifice for you, is what I'm seeing, okay? So let's see. Yeah, six of cups in reverse. This person did you wrong, okay? You're looking back at the past situation with this person and things were not were not good. They were not all sunshines and rainbows, okay? The six of cups in reverse, you guys look back at the situation and this person let you down. Big, big disappointments, but you still look at this person as your soulmate or someone that you reflect on often and think about. But you felt like this person wasn't changing with you. You guys were growing apart, because of this person's habits or their behaviors, even though there was a lot of unconditional love, there was a lot of love for this you and this person. It goes both ways. But this person needed time to heal, right? They needed time time to heal, do some shadow work. Let's see. What's the outcome? See, look, the hangman. Someone is getting unstuck. Ooh, three of cups. Some of you guys are reconciling with this person. So this person's coming back. They may have been keeping you on hold. Some of you guys dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces, 
Okay, that's your energy, Libra. So this is someone here that you look back at the past situation, you had to let them go. You had to cut them out of your life for your own stability, okay, for your own happiness. I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles. You guys found stability after cutting this person out of your life. But now this person's unstable. Now this person feels incomplete. Now they're feeling like they miss you, they want you, right? You were their happiness. You were their stability. You were everything to them. And now this person, they feel like now, you know, they've gotten things under control, right? The temperance, they're now doing things in moderation. They're, they've pulled back on things that they gave too much to, okay? They gave too much to other people. They gave too much to vi watching video games, right? Or spending too much money, whatever it is, whatever this person did that you didn't like, okay? There's something self-indulgent about this person. They did too much of something here that you did not like, all right? Whatever that is, this person's now claiming that they are now doing things in moderation, okay? With that temperance card. So we'll see. Let's see. Let's get some clarity for my Libras out there. I'm going to pull out my right away and we're going to clarify this, dig a little bit deeper. Because y'all know, whoo, you know, I like to tell it all. And I'm going to tell it how it is. All right. Three of Cups. Some of you guys, this person is coming back and they're still keeping you in a third party. If there was a third party, okay. You already know about this third party with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. That truth has already been revealed, okay, to you, Libra. That's no secret. But others of you guys, this is a reconciliation, okay. And this person is getting unsafe stuck you guys are no longer keeping being stalled and things are more balanced okay it looks good what's this ace of swords about for libra um nine of cups see self-indulgent see that's what i mean self-indulgent nine of cups you guys are seeing this person's ways they needed help this person did too much of something. They had to change, right? And this transformation with this Phoenix card, they had to change their ways because that just wasn't working for you, Libra, all right? So you caused, you shown the light or you were the light for this person to now see their sides, to see their, their fears, whatever that, you know, that they were not working on, okay? I'm getting this person now, they had to do a lot of shadow work because you, you, brought the light to a situation that they were not willing to see or work on okay take it how it resonates what's this eight of wands see we got the hangman in reverse and the high priestess so yeah this person definitely was hiding things from you or they may have been um not speaking about some of their their habits okay their addictions whatever there was that they person this person was involved in that kept them feeling stuck or keeping the connection stuck okay i feel like you're dealing with someone who was a little bit secretive or held back or did not really speak about these um, addictions or whatever that they needed to work on, okay? Perhaps they were embarrassed. Whatever it is, this person now sees things clearly, okay? Or now something's coming to light um, and they're getting unstuck, right? Pisces energy, strong Pisces. There's some kind of communication coming through as well about why this person was stuck, Okay. What's this three of wands in reverse? This is someone that you've been waiting for, Libra. See, six of swords. But you had to let them go because they brought so much conflict and challenges to your life. I feel like their problems became your problems, Libra. And you guys decided, you know what? That's just too much for me. No bueno. I'm not going to continue to put my life on hold and get caught up in a situation and take on drama that isn't mine or baggage that isn't mine. So you guys decided to go in the calmer waters, whatever that may look like, leaving this person out in the in the dusk, okay? Some of you guys, this person, again, put you in a third party and you decided to let go of that situation. Justice, this person did an injustice to you. They were unfair, okay? They made no sense. Their actions were, were wrong. What's this justice about in the reverse? Some of you guys, this was a... A marriage or some kind of divorce maybe you guys were in some kind of legal situation see seven of wands so you guys had to be clear on what it is you wanted okay there's something here that you've been standing your ground and you realize that you know what i'm no longer going to tolerate someone who doesn't treat me right someone who doesn't take me serious who doesn't do right by me and so the king of swords and a foundation leader well you took out your sword and you cut them out all right, you put an end to a situation here. Even though you really loved him, I think it was very hard for you because the Six of Cups is here. This is your soulmate. This is someone that you had a lot of love for. And you got the love card, unconditional love. So even though you cut this person out, you're like, I, I'm going to love you from afar, right? I love you, but I can't, I can't have this connection right now. I can't have you in my life because, you know, there's just, you need work. You need help, and I can't help you with that. 
So we got the, um, yeah, Ace of Swords and then the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is someone who, who was in and out of your life, Libra, okay? Um, they kind of came in whenever they wanted, and it's probably because of some kind of self-indulgent behavior, whatever they did, okay? Um, kept too many people around, whatever it is, was self-indulgent. This person, um, they were in and out of your life, okay? They played you for a fool, played mind games. Um, play your energy with that Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? Comes in, leaves out, don't know when they're coming back, you don't hear from them. You guys saw the truth and you cut that person out. There was clarity, there was some kind of, some of you guys it was communication, but I feel like this was more so inner clarity and realization that this person's not gonna do right by you. And this eight, and the Queen of Pentacles coming into the moment, what's this about? Some of you guys are finding your stability and everything, okay? You guys are finding um, yourself. You guys have done the work for certain, and you guys are very much spiritually balanced, feeling whole, feeling grounded. And we got the Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come in with an offer. See, there's someone who they realize their selfish ways, their self-indulgent selfish ways, their foolish activities, and now they want to come with an offer, right? Because they're feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling like they don't have enough anymore. Okay, Five of Pentacles in reverse is someone that you have cut communication with. Or you blocked them, or they blocked you. Whatever it is, you guys may not be talking as much. They don't feel your warm embrace. And yeah, see, you, you felt like this person wasn't going to bring you the commitment. Um, you feel like this person doesn't align with you when it comes to important matters, your values, your beliefs, okay? Um, some of you guys, again, you guys were in a marriage with this person. Some of you guys know with a Taurus. Got Sagittarius here, Pisces. What's this temperance about? So someone wants to now bring balance to the situation, right? They want to do things in harmony. They feel, um, oh, we've got, the, got too many cards here. So this is someone who wants to now bring peace and harmony back to the situation, okay? Um, they want you to be patient with them, okay? They they feel that now, well, I'm doing my work. I'm, I'm healing. I'm working on myself. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm drinking less. I'm not involved with this karmic. I'm... You know, I'm taking care of myself, right? So what's this temperance about? Strategizing. Someone's strategizing here, okay? Seven of Swords. It could be Gemini. It could be another air sign. Um, but this is someone who's trying to strategize. I feel like also, again, this person may have been very dishonest with you in the past. Let's see what this person's about. Yeah, look, the devil in reverse. See? Your person claims that they're coming back. They're strategizing on still letting go of something that was toxic, okay? Some of you guys was a Capricorn. This is someone who had some kind of, some, some, uh addiction some toxicity something here that they had to let go of again if this was a karmic if this was something here that they were tied to they're strategizing on letting this go okay i do see them doing the work because the devil came out in reverse so they want you to continue to be patient with them i don't think this person has completely kicked this habit or click kick this person or karmic from their life but i think they're working on it like they're actively working on it see eight of cups and verse you guys are conflicted if you guys should move back and come back to this person the eight of cups is saying that you know there's you guys are still have some kind of emotional attachment to each other there's still love there's still a lot of care feelings here all right and so even though this person did you wrong with the six of cups in reverse right things weren't always good okay there was some bad moments as well you guys are still wanting to maybe revisit the situation Libra is what I'm seeing so let's see if you were stuck about this person you're getting unstuck the hangman is in reverse and the three of cups is signifying some kind of reconciliation coming back together some of you guys are done with the Pisces with the hangman okay Capricorn Taurus wow the wheel Things are finally turning around in your life, Libra. Everything that you're doing, all the work, it's finally paying off. Look at that. The wheel is finally moving in the right direction. Wow. Someone has regrets about you. Someone's coming back to do the right thing. They want to reconcile. They're no longer stuck, okay? If they had some kind of addictions, bad behaviors, dealing with the karmic, they're letting that go, okay? This person, you know, you blocked out. They weren't looking for commitment. They came in and out of your life, okay? They were very secretive. Honestly, things are turning around. Things are no longer um, imbalanced, the justice in reverse. If they mistreated you, now they want to do right. Now, look at that. The wheel is turning finally in the right direction. So some of you guys are, you know, um, reuniting. Could be someone who you consider like your twin flame, okay? Your soulmate, your soul twin, whatever. But things are getting unstuck now. Things are finally moving in the right direction. Libra, look at this energy. Very beautiful, all right? So let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want me to continue to use my Oracle cards, let me know. Let me know how y'all feel about it, okay? Um, 
yay or nay yay or nay okay leave in the comment section <laughs> all right leave it let me know if you want um a personal love reading halloween special 31 dollars to october 31st if not it's cool check me out next week all right take care stay safe and stay blessed